Now, looking at the RE framework of this dispatcher, we have the initialization stage over here in which we have the system exception assigned to nothing. And then, as usually, we have the init all settings where we'll be reading the configuration file and the assets. Here, the thing that we have to discuss is something called assets, which I will soon let you know about it. Okay, then we have something called if this name is specified. So what this thing will do here in the main XAML, we have an argument called in Q name. This thing can be supplied a value from the orchestrator. If this thing is empty, okay, then it will go this side. If it's not empty, this will be the configuration files dictionary, which has the name orchestrator Q name, will be assigned with the name provided over here. If I just go over here and see right here, if I just go to jobs and click on this and see the earlier board that we have created was my robot and here there were no no parameters that we can pass but just in case if I select another process that I have with me called test my environment here you'll be able to see a parameter which to which we can actually pass some value say great management system Q okay something like that so that the bot will pick the value from here rather than picking it from the configuration file once that is done we'll pass on to this thing where we can kill any applications being open so that to clean the environment clean and then we are trying to add some logs to it and finally we have init all applications just open that and here we have nothing so next tax that we have to do is we have to use read range activity so as we know there is two activities available with the same functionality this excel any activities that you use from here will need you to have the excel installed in your system and if you use any one of this you don't need the excel installed in your system so let's use this and now because we want we have to supply that particular input over here here we have that particular file placed over here so i have passed that thing here and then what i will try to do is read it from the beginning to whatever range it is available so it will try to read everything available here and then let me switch to the properties and here just check this saying we need to include the headers and then try to save it into some variable but we know we are not going to use that particular variable right here we have to send it out to the main so let's directly create an argument here because we want to send it out out transaction data and the type is this and the type is data table just save it and try to pass that variable sorry the argument over here it's done right so it should be able to read that particular file by now and this should be available to us in this flow let's check if we are able to do it let me take an output data table here and let's pass this to transaction data 
over here and click on OK. Check if this is the transaction data available here is of data table type. Yes, it's data table type. Pass this data table to this transaction data and then create some random variable here and try to use a message box to display that particular output here say str okay that is done so let me first close this particular file because whenever we are using workbook activities right so the file should not be opened when I say workbook activities, I mean this particular things rather than this. Okay, with that, let me quickly run it in debug mode. As you can see, it was able to display all these things right here. Okay, with that done, now we know that we are still hard coding something right here. So why not make it configurable? Just copy this Mutri project folder from this, open this and here in this folder we have the configuration file, double click on that and try to include the URL, whatever location file you have for the master sheet. Marks file path. Okay, and here you can copy that. Just remove double quotes here and copy this thing, copy it, save it, and you can close this. Then coming back to the code here, just try to remove this thing. And because we have the in configuration, the dictionary available inside this in it all applications. Now just paste the name of it right here and then to string. With that is done, we'll try to run it once again to see if we have made it dynamic. Yes, it's there. So with that, we are done with the reading of the Excel. As we can see here, next thing is to push that particular data to orchestrator queue. But before that, we have to do something which is called configuring the gateway, get transaction data. Stop it. Okay.